sands of Tatooine await you, apprentice. I've gleaned much since our interrogation of the Republic agent here on Dromund Kass. I am certain Noman Carr brought this gifted Padawan to Tatooine to train with a legendary master named Yonlock. Years ago, I urged the Dark Council to hunt down and destroy this Jedi. They refused, and Yonlock went into hiding on Tatooine. What should I do with him once I track him down? Yonlock is the one who brought the Padawan's powers into expression. Now they share a special bond. Find him and destroy him. Where do you suggest I begin? My servant Sharok Biv will guide you. She's eccentric, an acquired taste. But give her the benefit of the doubt. As you decree, my lord. That is all. The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our lord and master Darth Barris bid me to impart my knowledge of this planet and help you track down the Jedi Master Yanlok. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I will be your compass. You will find Master Yanlok by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon, a terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. Now you've got my undivided attention. The sand demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing, its skin was glistening. Somehow, she avoided fighting the demon. That appears to be the only conclusion. What happened in that cave is a mystery. As is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. He's a bow chief. He's as old as the sand. Part madman. Part soothsayer. Tell me more about this man. They say the planet talks to him. He predicts sandstorms and directs search parties to lost children. It will not be easy to speak with Jeef. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Ela. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. They won't see me coming until it's too late. Then I will meet you at Isabo Jeef's hut. My lord, welcome to Tatooine. 
If you hold a moment, I can provide directions to the research center. You have confused me with someone else. You're... sorry, my error. Much of the Imperial traffic we get is assigned to the archaeological expedition. Security, scientific equipment... They don't tell me what it's for. If you're going to be here long, you might wish to consult with Captain Gola. We wouldn't want to interfere with Sith activity. You have been most helpful. These are the Centre's coordinates. I'll alert them that you may be coming. My lord, I'm sorry for whatever business brings you to this worthless wasteland. You interested in striking a blow against the Exchange? Sooner the Empire tightens the noose, the sooner most of us can ship home. Gangsters are smuggling our explosives out of Mos Ela, selling them to the Republic. We need to show them it's a bad idea. No one steals from the Empire and lives. Thank you, my lord. We need our explosives back. And we need to find out who's running their operation. If you'll help, I'll get you locations for all suspected stashes. But be careful. We've already lost good soldiers to the Exchange Guards. I'll handle anything that dares to get in my way. If any of their men attack, search them. They must have a base, a way to communicate. Retrieving the explosives is important, but we must get to their leaders to stop this problem for good. Keela, I need those water readings. We won't get more supplies without a report. Sorry, sir. I'll check as soon as I can. Sand in the gauges. Blast! Bring in some local technicians. See if they can fix us up while I greet our guests. My lord, Barden Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. I've run excavations on Zeost, Malachor II, and Nimdrovis. But add a little heat and dust and we've got nothing but trouble. Your man at the spaceport said this was a research center. Not exactly up to standard, but yes, Moss Ela is our base of operations. My captain, you should have alerted me. You know I enjoy guests. Captain Gola and his crew report to me. I am Darth Silthar. They are my hands, digging and scraping where I cannot. We came to Tatooine to solve a mystery. One of dead men and desert secrets. Not for conquest, but for power. I've come to Tatooine in the name of Darth Barris. I know your master. Perhaps we can find common ground. The Empire recently found a damaged shuttle drifting through deep space. It came from a Zerka Corporation research base on Tatooine. Zerka had Tatooinean artifacts they claimed were the find of the millennium. Mystery devices with the energy throughput of a sun. But a month after the shuttle launch, their research base disappeared. Zerka never came back. Somewhere in this wasteland is power enough to destroy a world, remake a galaxy. My team is going to find the Zerka base and these artifacts along with it. We will learn their secrets. Will you join us? Tell me more about Zerka. Fools who believe that research and technology are a match for true power. They will not interfere. Now, scattered across the desert, 
sheltered within caves, live a people called the Sons of Palawa. They are an exacting and ritualistic tribe, come to Tatooine to test themselves against the elements. A settlement nearby has something we need. Test themselves how? They pound their fists into sand, drill for water instead of using vaporators, what you'd expect. Most importantly, the Sons of Palawa possess a clue to Circa's fate. What did you call them, Captain? Experimental battle droids, armed with turbo lasers, shields, and who knows what else. Circa droids, no doubt rebuilt by the Sons of Palawa. And the tribals are not inclined to share. Leave that to me. After the Empire took Mos Ela, the Sons of Palawa decided we were invaders. They'll shoot anyone who gets close. But why should that stop you? If the droids truly are from Zerka, I want their secrets. Dissect them, peel the droids' armor, and bring the captain their Berber -ber brains. Then they will lead us to the missing Zerka base.
How fortunate, my lord. You grace me with your presence just as the Empire needs your talents most. These generators once provided power to most of Mosilla. The Empire needs them reactivated, but the Jawas are getting in my way. They built these machines when they controlled the town. Now that I'm converting their inane tech for Imperial use, the Jawas won't hand over the special power cores I require. Take what you need. If they refuse, punish them. I don't have enough forces to attack. I tried brokering a trade instead, but the Jawas wouldn't surrender the cores. They claim they're being used to power droids, some kind of defense against the exchange. <laughs> Likely excuse. The Empire can't tolerate insubordination. 
Perhaps you could massacre their camp, destroy their droids, and bring their power cores to me for the glory and defense of the Empire. Nothing like demolishing a civilization to really get the blood flowing. Indeed, my lord. Remind them of your supremacy. The Jawas set up their defenses outside of town, I'll show you. My lord, your reputation for ruthless perfection precedes you. Was that rather bold-faced flattery a preface to asking my assistance? My name is Commander Villos. I came to Tatooine to eliminate the Jawa problem. I was wondering, in all of your travels, have you had much experience with Force use among lesser alien species? I've fought plenty of Force users, I'll tell you that. The Jawas, you've seen them. Little, unimpressive, unimportant sand rats. Is it possible they use the Force? A dozen of my officers were killed by the vermin, all with burns from lightning. If the Jawas are using the Force to resist our occupation, we must bring proof to the Dark Council, so that they may crush the threat. What would it take to convince them? I have some information from the one patrol that managed to return. The Jawa tribes are not as isolated as we thought. Apparently, they communicate with each other using secret relays in the deep desert. If they're training force users, those relays will be our way to find out where and how. How are you going to pull that off? We need to bug the relays. But the Jawas have reconstituted assault droids around every one, and the messages are in code. The communications relays are in the desert outside Mos Ila. If you want to help, Plant these bugs on them, then hunt down the ranking Jawas in the area. If we're lucky, one of them has the cipher for the code. The smuggling ring is broken. Here's everything I could salvage. Excellent. I was hoping that was you I was hearing about. The local authorities have been all in a dither about an unprovoked massacre of suspected exchange members. I hope this compensates you sufficiently for your time.
Nobody better mess with us next. 